This is Risa Polanski reporting for Miami Today. Jerry Libin, new president and CEO of the Miami Beach Chamber of Commerce, is also a city commissioner. He says he sees the roles as symbiotic. Both involve serving the community, says Mr. Libin, who has a background in social work. He sees a long-awaited convention center revamp and the soon-to-begin construction of a tunnel to the Port of Miami as two of the biggest issues facing the residents and businesses on Miami Beach today. He joins us for this week's profile. At the present time, we have uh, the expansion of the convention center. It's been hanging around now for you know, a couple of years, and, and uh, just last week there was a public meeting where there was a discussion about the possibility. Uh, Architectonica you know, came out with a, uh, an ad alternate, I think, of potentially building a, a convention center hotel along with the expansion. And so, you know, there is the whole concept with or without a hotel and, and mobilizing forces to get the county to really pony up and, and find the resources, which I'm confident that they will, uh, to do an expansion of the convention to really make us more competitive. We, we have a difficult time, we being the county. When I say we, people need to understand, and, and the insiders I'm sure do, that the convention center, while it lives on Miami Beach, it's a regional economic uh, engine. And uh, in order for us to be competitive with the other you know, convention centers, we need to be able to attract the full package all in one location. Uh, it's difficult, you can imagine, if a large convention comes to town and stays in five different locations and then they want to have a dinner or a breakfast or a meeting. And already it becomes busing and, and, and commuting and it becomes a logistical uh, you know, nightmare for some groups and an added expense. So that puts clearly the uh, convention center at a disadvantage in Miami Beach, uh, as does you know the the lack of a sufficient number of rooms in the convenient location, you know convenient to the to the convention center, uh, and also the upgrading. I mean we don't have a ballroom. We, we, there are a number of things that need to be upgraded, bring it more modern, uh, to compete. So that that's one issue. Another is the port tunnel, and uh, while. I can't really speak for the Chamber's board. I haven't actually even attended a board meeting at this point. Uh, so I, I, you know, I, it's not appropriate for me as a, a staff person to be talking about what the Chamber's board will or won't do. But as far as an issue, clearly uh, the Port Tunnel is another one of those issues that will have impact on Miami Beach. And I would suspect, given that we have so many members and, and so many residents that, that live uh, close to the MacArthur Causeway that will be impacted. All of South Beach, which talk about economic uh, engines, I don't think there's a bigger economic engine in the county than South Beach. And, and to have the concern that congestion on that MacArthur Causeway is a result of 7,000 trucks a day that will be taken off of the roads in downtown Miami, come through a tunnel and now enter and exit onto the MacArthur Causeway, one certainly would be concerned about what it might do to the flow of traffic into and out of South Beach, as well as the businesses and the residents who live along you know, the causeway on Palm, Hibiscus, Star Island. Uh, certainly that's something of a major concern. 